The teachers, staff, and administration of the Green Bay Public Schools understand that the safety and security of the children entrusted to our care is the number one concern of parents. Providing a safe learning environment is a top priority in our schools, and we'd like to share what is being done to deliver on this very important responsibility. The Green Bay Public School District staff is continually updating the knowledge, skills, and best practices we employ to ensure the safety of students, staff, and visitors in our schools. We are constantly learning from our own experiences and from the lessons learned by others across the country. School safety has received greater levels of attention in recent years. The need for high quality, evidence-based plans and procedures was addressed in detail as recently as June 2013 in a joint publication of the U.S. Departments of Education, Justice, Homeland Security, Health and Human Services, as well as the FBI and Federal Emergency Management Agency. Our district plans are aligned to these recommendations for emergency management in schools. Every district, school, and site has copies of this school safety and security plan. The plan has been revised and updated five times in the past seven years so that we stay current with the most up-to-date recommendations of law enforcement and school safety experts. The purpose of this safety plan is to ensure that our school staff are prepared to keep students safe in the event of hazardous acts of nature, accidental injuries and health concerns, environmental crises, threats to safety, and actual acts of violence. The most familiar school safety practice is probably the monthly fire drill. Schools have been practicing fire drills for more than three generations. Even though there are literally thousands of fire department calls to schools every year across the country, there hasn't been a fatality in a school fire in over 55 years. A recent Gallup poll demonstrated that although worst case acts of violence in school are infrequent, parental concern about such acts is real. In August 2013, the nationwide poll showed that one in three parents of K-12 children actually did experience fear for their child's physical safety at school. As educators, parents, and grandparents, we realize these concerns are legitimate and we take them most seriously. The district's most recent revision to our school safety plan addresses worst case scenarios in a direct and affirmative way. As of the production of this podcast, over 2,400 school staff and personnel have received special training that heightens their awareness, levels of concern, and potential abilities to act in the face of any type of crisis or emergency. Staff training has emphasized being aware of their environment and knowing they are both required and authorized to take action. We are stressing the need to use infrastructure, technology, and human action to keep kids safe. All Green Bay Area Public School staff members have been or will be trained in a response model that will be used for every emergency from a bee sting to the absolute worst possibility, that of an active school shooting. ALICE, an acronym that stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate, is an evidence-based emergency response model that is aligned with the latest recommendations of the FBI, International Chiefs of Police, Department of Homeland Security, and many other agencies. Teachers and staff are being taught and reminded that they have a duty and responsibility to be alert and aware of their surroundings. They are also informed that they have the authority to act immediately in the event of an emergency in order to save time and preserve safety. Alert means paying close attention to what is happening and providing information in many directions in the event of an emergency. For over 20 years, the Green Bay Public Schools have practiced lockdown drills. Because that term is understandably scary, we will now be using lockdown only in the event of a clear and present peril within a school. Many times a year we have to secure our buildings because of tactical police and fire actions near a school campus. We will be using the terms secure the building inside situation or outside situation depending upon the reason. School and classroom doors are normally to be locked during instructional time. If it ever becomes necessary to have an actual lockdown because of an intruder in the building, teachers have been taught and will be practicing ways to block and barricade classroom doors in addition to having them locked. Whenever it becomes necessary to secure a school building, whether for something happening outside such as a police action or inside such as a medical emergency requiring halls to be clear, real-time information will be provided to teachers, staff, and students so that they know what is happening. To further ensure that anxiety levels are kept down, 
information about what is happening and why will be provided to parents and families through school messaging technology. This is a significant change in how school emergencies have been managed. The more information that the people closest to the emergency have and provide to those outside the school, the better for safety and confidence. The Federal Emergency Management Administration, FEMA, has been recommending a set of principles to consider in the event of an active shooter. The concept of run, hide, fight is recommended by a number of emergency management and law enforcement agencies. Counter is aligned to that worst case scenario response, but we stress that Green Bay schools are not teaching children to engage intruders in any way. This is being taught as an option for staff. It is all about making it harder for an intruder to accomplish his or her actions. Our emergency plan teaches that informed evacuation is the best option in the face of a hazard. By providing as much real-time information as possible regarding a threat or emergency, staff will be able to make the best decision regarding getting out or barricading in place. Each school emergency response team is working to identify rally points and reunification sites in the event of an evacuation. School staff have prepared individual plans for each school and developmentally age-appropriate lessons in school safety to be delivered to students. Please contact your school's principal with any questions or comments you may have. Our principals and pupil services staff have received a two-day advanced training in the concepts and procedures described in this presentation and should be able to answer any questions or to refer you to district staff for further information.